we will see how badly the jet lag affects Joxan. Will it affect him or will he power through it and get that W and be the only North American through to the quarterfinals? Let's send it over to the casters, Joe and D-Man. Yes, thank you very much. And Joxan, well, he comes out of the group of death on top very much unscathed. Timox already through the quarterfinals. Well, Joxan beat him 6-1 in the decider match the winner bracket absolutely demolished him so we're expecting a lot of goals from this man joe he's just mentioned uh cormac there that absolutely can nail the time finishing it has been how the goals have been rolling in and Doni himself had tons of chances but actually hasn't had that many goals no he hasn't any yeah. i mean the thing is his play is very calculated um you know we heard earlier on the um, JRA versus um, versus Andoni game yesterday. Yeah. Now, the Boris said that was very much like a game of chess. You know, very, two very tactical styles and practice fans, partners yeah, as well. Yeah, very good to watch. Very interesting to watch for you know different reasons other than ten goals a game. Um, we'll see how that works out here though against Joxan, who has been banging him in left, right, and centre. Joxan, of course, playing from. Uh, Right to left here. In the white, yeah. In the white, uh, from left to right in the white, I should say. And Andoni in the black as he now moves forward. On the edge of the box, takes an early shot there as well. And Andoni, if, we were, if you think back right to his first group game against Tree, where he won 1 0 after having what felt like 60 shots in that. I think game. it was 18 shots, I yeah. believe, that one, yeah, to about one. It was, a, uh, it was a very one sided. Yeah crazy one in terms of but possession it, and chances but just couldn't find the back it, of the net it took him like 80 85 minutes to get that goal as yeah. well it was uh, very late coming but started off well here only got the one against jra of course you know we've been talking about the best in spain well i think grabson's like hi guys hi uh <laughs> i'm through to the quarterfinals already jra line is out uh, and doni the other spanish player looking to try and take it of course against the one and only North American player remaining in the tournament. And offside, I think, given there, yeah, for Joxan. So, uh, Joxan playing in the LA Galaxy strip, by the way. It's uh, good to see. He, uh, what, are you, what are you looking at me questioning? Is he not the... It's the white LA Galaxy L strip. Yeah? Yeah? Sure. Oh, yeah, are you thinking of the, the LA, LA team? Yeah, is it, I can't remember what they're called these days. It, I'm sure that's the Galaxy. Or is it? Is it? LA, that's the, uh, the LA United? Is it? I can't, I can't I'm, showing, I'm showing my MLS knowledge right now. It's, uh, it's all pretty disgraceful, to be honest. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure that one out on our end. Sure, Twitch chat, chat is absolutely destroying us for this as we speak. LA, LAFC was the other LAFC, one. LAFC, right? that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. I'm sure that's Galaxy. I'm going uh, to check it out myself. But Atletico Bilbao, there we go. That's the easy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that we uh, we should know. It's not like they're uh, n a new team or anything. You were right, Joe. It's not the Galaxy badge. It's LAFC. I, I think it is LAFC. There we go. Oh, and it's in. Johnson is going to open up scoring here. Eusebio after just 22 mm. minutes in game. Johnson his first real chance in this one. And he puts it away. So Joxan, the LAFC representative. <laughs> uh, I completely forgot about LAFC, actually, considering we know some of the investors in that team. Um, probably a bit embarrassing, really. <laughs> but either way, uh, Joxan with the early goal, uh, showing a decent amount of possession. We talked about his finishing. Absolutely nailed that one. But Andoni, ooh, pressure there. That was a dangerous situation to maybe... Get a ball back, but hold it, pressing up the field. Joxan working it down the right wing here, slips it through, but it's about all he's going to get out of it. Sergio Ramos being used, by the way. I think one of the first Sergio Ramoses we've seen, and uh, it's good to see that some of the normal cards do make it past the plethora of icons that have been on show throughout this weekend. Now, though, it's Eusebio. Ooh, that was a... Was it judged to be a foul? It was. I'm going to be honest, I think it's a weak foul at best because it's more of a, an obstruction than anything. But let's see what he can do. He's going to play it short to Vieira coming in. 
should do. We'll play it off, lay it off, looking for an option. Has to step to the side, should be an easy finish, and it will be. Cruyff slots it away, and it's 2-0 for Joxan. Starting as he is, well, carrying on, I suppose. I don't even want to say starting, carrying on his previous form of banging him in. And doesn't look to be slowing down any time soon. As Andoni, will this be the final port of call here in the round of 16 for him? As you've said, slow build-up style. Loves that kind of crawl of the pitch with Hullet and Vieira. Had plenty of chances in this tournament. Not scored a whole lot, though. Here is Hullet. His options more than limited. Does get it out, though, to George Best on this top side. He also directly pressured by two men. And I wonder if Andoni can find his way through here. Does finally. Eusebio on the edge of the box, but he's dispossessed by Hullet. And now Joksan can go again. The short, intricate passing that Andoni keeps trying here is kind of being undone by the more direct style that Joksan is running. Does slow things down, though. Eusebio looking for that runner. R9 is available, slips it back through to Yasabia, looking into the box, E, plenty of crosses, plenty of options. Oh, it's gone back across and hit the post and come out. You felt that was 3-0, done and dusted, but now the counter chance for Andoni, maybe. No, it's been run out by Vieira. I think Cruyff had already run off celebrating there. And, uh, knocked off the inside of the post, didn't cross the line, and then cleared away from danger, but what a start here for Joxan. Not showing any cracks under pressure. The referee has indicated the that there will be a minimum only North American that may head to those quarterfinals, which, by the way, we will be playing today. Then we'll follow the uh, round of 16 games. Obviously, uh, Webb versus Jesus coming up next. That is the last round of 16 game. Then we move into the four quarterfinals for today so plenty more action coming is Hullet trying the long range shot got himself a corner here which will be swung straight in front post cleared out and half time surely going to be blowing no okay referee says it's not completely out of danger will now there will be because there was that foul or an offside in there Go and have a chat. Be cleared out. Have a chat with the Bamiang, maybe. He's getting that corner scheduled down. So <laughs> figuring the tactic out. Get it. How is he? How are we still playing? I was going to say 49 minutes on the clock with two added on. Impressive stuff there. From We've the had ref. some long games. I reckon uh, these yeah. refs have learnt to count from me. <laughs> plus 45 plus two. Yeah, 49 sounds about right. Six shots to one. That's uh, the important stat. Three, five, two. Jokson. Okay. It's, okay, he switched it now, he switched it now. So the 4-1-2-1-2, uh, one, two, one, two, I believe, coming out here. Just having a little switch around, putting Ramos out on the right the wing. You should have Maldini out there. That. Now, I, no, well, you say that. I know when I, when I had a, a practice game or a fun game, um, well, wasn't so much fun for me because I lost 7-1 but uh, to Boras he tried out Maldini on that right wing and it looks like he's going to go with Ramos. Ramos is a quick centre back so maybe that's what he's working with. Very obviously defensive, very big. Um, certainly obviously not going to give the attacking options. Certainly here right from the get-go. Those chucks and if you're just doing this playing from right to left in that LAFC kit. Yeah, we got it right this time. <laughs> And Andoni from left to right in the black strip. Now with possession and a bit of space to work with on this top side. He's got R9 free in the middle and trying to cut it across, but I think it was R91. Yeah, you know? I think so as well. CR7 had already made a pacey run in there. I think that was uh, the target that was sadly picked out for him. Now it's Joxan running the wing with Kyle Walker. Roberto Carlos going to destroy him though. Yeah, that big Brazilian coming back. Thighs of steel on Roberto Carlos. You can't get past him. Just has the cut back inside. Ferdinand plays it across to Maldini. Looking at maybe uh, a run. Ramos actually made his way up the, up the box there. So he was he was off and running. But uh, 
it's back to Joxan making the attack here as Cruyff cuts inside, lots of options, goes to CR7, can't get past Maldini, and it's played out of the danger for Andoni, who still looking for that first goal, maybe there's a chance here, a break down the right-hand side, Sergio Ramos, the flying wing-back in this game, not really working out, back to Georgi Beston, the slow, short passing style of Andoni at the moment is not netting him anything, he's looking to try and create one of those openings, there it was, but his time shot, it was poor, and he went straight to the defender. Yeah, blocked straight away. Did get a little lucky. I was able to get possession back. R9 tries to scoop it there. And uh, scooped it right into the feet of Hullet. Now Cruyff. Oh, one touch too many. No, he's just sprinted on by. And now has a massive opening. Man on the top side. Ronaldo turning the opposite direction. And he wanted to hit Pele, but... Oh, UCBO, even uh, I think that is. Didn't quite work out for him, though. Looking for those quick through balls, I think it's just the, the, the second through ball didn't quite work out for him, and that just uh, the whole move sort of broke down after that. You saw the options available to him. Nice skill moves there to work it past his man, but he's lost out now. And Doni giving the ball away in the midfield. Vieira, oh, it's a rash pass straight into. Uh, R9, look how deep R9 is on the defensive duty for Andoni there. Still keeping things as it is, hasn't changed too much, has called for a pause, so obviously looking to make some of those changes when the ball goes out of play, but as of yet, 69 minutes had counted, yet to break the deadlock here. The two goals that Jokstan scored in the first half, holding true, and that's just an awful pass, gifted straight to Eusebio. And a big floated ball over the top, not going to find its man. Ferdinand already there, but worth a, chart, uh, worth a shot, maybe, for Joksan. Right now, possession bang on even at 50-50. Fine for Joksan, can stay that way. In the end, he's the one that's bagged the two goals. Miera now. Quick pass into R9. Now Eusebio. <sighs> Slid in there, just trying to make sure that that was guided on where it was aimed for. In the end, out of reach for him. Roberto Carlos charging down the top side. Just as quickly as it looked like Andoni could be building something up. It all goes wrong for him. Oh, that was... Uh, went down holding his shins. <laughs> Referee said, no, play on. I didn't see anything. Jock's oh. on. Through ball almost working there, but look at that. We're only at the 78th minute. I think he called for that at 60 minutes, trying to get the change. It's been so long since the ball went out of play. Cruyff coming on. Ronaldinho, that super sub that everybody seems to be calling on. Where's he going to go? Where's he going to do when you're, when you're playing such a tight formation that really, honestly, is not working for Andoni right now? He's not finding any of those spaces. It is crowded in the middle. He needs to spread it wider, it seems. Looks like he's maybe trying to do that, whether he's trying to get a bit more width. Yes, he is. Trying to add a little bit of width. My Spanish isn't great, but I know that's the width bar, so he's just uh, made it a little wider there. Double substitute for Joxan. Mourinho on for Cruyff. Ball yet played down the wing to Best, who's just got one as well. He plays all for Ronaldo, cuts it inside. Didn't quite find the man, though. Ronaldo now, edge of the box, so it's R9 that's gone off. CR7 remains there for Ronaldinho as well, and took the shot, but straight into the hands of the keeper. Positioned perfectly to catch. But look how far his players are back. Ronaldinho all the way back here. R9 on the centre half. Nobody really forward. So Andoni's just got to build this forward. Try and work it in. Ramos slides it through to Ronaldinho. Looking for something in the box. And he just ran straight into Roberto Carlos. And going nowhere. Leaving the counter opportunity for Joxan. Best. He's got a runner on the wing. He finds him. It goes out to Eusebio. Not got a great deal of pace left in him. Tries to go for the early cross, but it's caught oh. out by Ferdinand. Just keeps it, was it out, in. To yeah. Be 
thought he thought he made a big howler there, but the ball won back by Jock San. Oh, Eusebio has gone offside. Goes to George Best. Ronaldinho finesse finish maybe no. Tries to get the flourish. Looks across. Oh, and he's <laughs> managed to get it on the inside. How has the keeper been beaten there? I do not know. But Ronaldinho makes it three 0 for Jock San. Yeah, it shouldn't be really any space on that near post. Somehow found it. Uh, if anyone ever could, Ronaldinho maybe is just that man. 3-0, a comfortable lead here as we hit the dying moments of this first leg. And Jockson's rampage so far through the tournament showing no signs of slowing down. Uh, Jockson, uh, sorry, Andoni talked about in his video that he's got access to sports scientists and sports psychiatrists and all sorts of uh, attributes that come with esports these days. I think he's going to need them all at this turn, the second leg, that mental strength required because he's 3-0 down and I don't remember him having too many chances in this game. Jackson assumes position and it will be Andoni switching off to his home kit now from left to right. In the red and white stripes, what has happened there? Oh, no, he's clattered uh, <laughs> into uh, Ferdinand, I think, <laughs> off the ball. And that's cut out any options really available for Andoni. He was the front man, of course. So trying to send that player forward has kind of caught him off guard. Trying, maybe trying to get that early goal, it would certainly be what he needs. He can send it back down the wing, instead tries to go through the middle, as he's so often done. It's clattered out by Hullet and keep it sent to the sun, I think. Finally comes back down, the keeper will clear it out, and Joxan now on the counter. There was a lot of players forward there for Andoni. Might be space available down this wing. Cruyff is unbeatable down there, it seems. R9, though, will be stopped by Rio. Yeah. Almost looked uh, dangerous there for a second. Uh, for Andoni. Huh? So, not sure what that was all about. Shake of the head. Shake of the head. Sure, yeah. I don't think he's uh, really sure what happened to him there. He's thinking I'll say I'm assuming he was thinking I'll switch the wing and then he, well, his winger was he was off and away <laughs> I think it's uh, Roberto then, Carlos un he's using unless he's uh, Unless the guy on the left was about 20 feet tall. I don't think he was gonna <laughs> hit, get to him anyway There's a shot coming off and it's in off the inside of the post And there is a lifeline what for he Andoni. It's an early one as well all important got plenty of time to try now and crawl this one by that's going to be a free <laughs> kick. <laughs> See how like, well, I think he went for a straight clothesline of the area there, and then the other attacker joins in. It's a pile on effectively as everyone just starts leaping in. Uh, maybe all, you know, a bit of post celebration to the goal there, but uh, a lot of work to be done for Andoni here. It is the lifeline, maybe breathe a bit of life into this match. We can only hope uh, that Andoni does liven things up because he was. Well, docile in that first game, I think, is the best way to describe it. Didn't have a great deal Absence. of chances. Absent, that's another way yeah. of, uh, of saying it. But Joxan got himself those three goals, so there's still a long way to go. And giving the ball away like that is not what you need. Joxan, is he going to get hit on the break here? Looking for that through ball, instead lays it back, looks for the finesse. Oh, he can't quite get it in. And it's going to go for a corner. Yeah, going in there. Arnheim was running through the middle there. Thought he might put it over the top, but... I think by the time uh, that was even an option, defenders had caught up to him. Here's the corner taken short, though. Hull it. Ah, dispossessed. And look at this. Ferdinand, you see, trying to tra uh, track back just behind him. So at least one defender out of position there. That should be fixed by now. Ball. See, all four are now back. There's a ball in. Keeper will get to it first, though. Yeah. De Gea out to it. You really, for the. Oh, my word. He's giving it away in a horrible position, but sadly, he's offside. Uh, but yeah, for those crosses to work, you really got to kind of hope your players just either either level or just ahead with the defender. And he was a little behind. It was too close, obviously, to the keeper as well. So Joxan trailing in this game 1-0, but 3-1 up still on aggregate from the first game. No home and away goals, so uh, we don't need to be looking towards that. If it's a draw, it will go extra time and penalties. And it is well, Joxan winning himself a free kick here inside and only his half pull it with the yellow card the DM don't think they'd be too worried about that doesn't pick up too many cards it's a fairly clean game here in esports world of FIFA 
That's a nice little slipped ball, looking for the runner. Goes across, Finesse can't quite get it. Wasn't timed, I don't think, either there. I think he just snatched at it. Is he going to take it short again? No, this time it's whipped in. Oh, Hollick was there. He goes down, though. There's a shot, and again, the keeper going to deny Johnson. Another one whipped in. Same kind of uh, placing. Keeper's actually still on the floor. Oh, he takes the shot. I think he realized he was out of position. Is that three in a row? Balance. Yep, that is three corners in a row. And guess what? It's going to go exactly the same spot once again. No real difference this time. He's going to be turned around there as Hullick turns, and again, the keeper's going to deny. Corner number four in a row. Keeping the pressure on. Is he going to go short this time? No, he's going to whip it in the inside. One again, another big hand comes out. Another chance. No one really available down the bottom. He's looking for the finesse. He finds space. Got the drag back, put him into danger. Maybe we should have gone first time. He was trying to buy that time for the finesse, maybe, to try and line himself up for it now Andoni on the counter he's got men forward it's about a five on four I think at the moment Hullet oh the first touch was awful from Hullet throws himself down in the box as well just to put a little pleasure on it I don't know either way Vieira just ran him off no problem there yeah it's actually both uh, both Hullets are booked here the ref clearly not a fan of Ruud Hullet Sivio just check inside but Oh, that's a fancy touch. Maybe fancier than was needed, in all honesty. And it's been worked around. One-touch stuff here from Andoni. He really doesn't like going wide, does he, at all, Andoni? Every time that they had a runner on the left and the right and didn't use either of them. And it's he's just trying to keep pushing it through that middle, and it's just not working for him. Needs a backup game plan, maybe. Joxan has got himself a couple of backup options here. He sends it off. Oh, just a last-ditch tackle because that would have given Cruyff all the space in the world. Now, back onto Andoni. The little ball through. He's got a runner. Gets it to R9. He's got space. He can go to the right-hand side, but the defender was quicker to it. I think it was Kyle Walker that cut it out in the end there for Joxan, who buys himself some more time. The clock is ticking. Andoni still trailing by two goals. Yeah, and all good here for Joxan. And he has the ball, and Doni's not going to be able to score. And time is ticking. The pressure's going to be building on the Spaniard. Oh, I can't afford to do stuff like that, though. Just before half time would be an insane time to score. R9 had just run offside there, so that through ball no longer possible. Here's Roberto Carlos. Will he swing one in? He's not got options, really. Somehow finds a path through to hull it. But in the end, just all too desperate on that top side Joxan can simply spread the wings now Cruyff R9 with him and you can see it's not about going forward it's about holding possession there is a ball to Sibio though bobbled off the defender easy into hands and uh, well that's going to be half time here in his second leg the head tennis just to finish things off as well. <laughs> so Andoni, he did get that early goal. You can see he's just had the four shots to the six of Joxan. And Joxan with the 56, uh, I think it's 56, 58% possession there. 43 one still for Joxan. Uh, having a quick peek at what Andoni is doing. We can see it's still very crowded in that midfield. 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Just not quite working out. Hasn't been going wide. And the thing is for Andoni, I mean, this is obviously the, the play style that Andoni likes as well. What? He's had the options to put players wide and hasn't really used them. So clearly doesn't have a great deal of faith of either the crossing ability, which I can understand because there's not too many players that do cross it in this game, uh, or maybe the ability to cut in. Maybe he just feels, you know, there's better options just trying to pile it through that middle. But it doesn't seem to be working against Jocks and his 4-2-3-1. It's the reason that a lot of players switch to it. It gives you that extra defensive midfielder presence to just block out the middle and prevent any of those big through balls that he's trying. Yeah, obviously clearly prefers that narrow uh, that narrow play style, right? And I guess that fits to this kind of CDM crawl that he likes to do. I think it's, I mean, it's it's more important, it's the reason that 4 3 one has risen to dominance because so many people were using 4 one 2 one 2 last year in uh, 18, you know, 4 2 2 2 which we've seen. 4-4-2 as well has uh, kind of faded away and 
a uh, couple of Christmas trees with a 4-3-2-1 that a lot of people were using uh, prior to the patch, and now it's kind of 4-2-3-1 really has been the meta for certainly this Continental Cup tournament. And Doni, though, with a chance, trying to get through the middle again, cuts out. Again, space available on the wing, doesn't use it, doesn't want it, not even interested in passing it to him. So effectively, why make that player move forward other than trying to pull the defender out? Does finally go to him, and I think we've seen why he didn't use him. It's a corner. So, first one of the game for Andoni. Joxan already had five, and they were all, I think, in a row. There is a ball in towards Hulley. Defender got there first. Importantly for Andoni, he retains possession. Oh, the pr pressure is high here from Joxan. You realize that even though it went all the way back there, he was pressured into a making a pass that just didn't find its man because it was rushed. That cross is also not going to find anyone. It's an easy catch for the keeper. And only can try and build again. Yeah, for those sort of crossing to work, we didn't need to do it early or late, it seems. If you hit it at that point, it's almost always saved by the keeper, unless, unless the players move the keeper out of position and oh. switched it. A little header back to uh, De Gea there from Joxan. Tries to be all cool, calm about it, and tries to also slow things down a little bit here. There's only 30 minutes remaining, remember, and only still needs those two goals, so Joxan certainly in no rush to get these goals, but it'd certainly be nice if he finds another one here. Cuts inside with Eusebio, finds Vieira, backs it back, and there we go, 4-1. We have another goal for Joxan. The North American is looking very strong here as R9 slams it in. A 94-rated R9 as well, not using that prime. And he is going to switch things around, so uh, bringing the depth back, bringing the width in as well, which actually counters nicely to Andoni because he has playing, been playing so contained, so shrinking that width down is not going to be too bad for him. Yeah, just switching. Going to do some subs as well. Ronaldinho comes on for R9. Switch. Did he just switch to 4-1-4-1? 4 one 4 one so, Joxan is ready to go. It's Andoni, though, who faces the real pressure. Three goals he needs in less than half an hour in game. Difficult at the best of times. It may <laughs> feel impossible here. That is a tactic I'd love to see in real life. A tackle, sorry. Just spin in and take the ball. <laughs> and spin out again. Top you go. Uh, I think it worked out very well for Joxan there himself a decent ball through but it's cut out and now Andoni it's time to start going a bit more direct I'm afraid three goals and chasing the slow tiki tacky style is not really working out for him I don't think it's time to look for those through balls maybe go a little more attacking I haven't seen adjustments of course we were looking at Joxan's screen so we haven't got a, a view on exactly what Andoni did change whether he went more attacking or not we do not know uh, ball scrambled and lost Cruyff attempt to clip it out there <laughs> no pressure from Andoni there he, he had it covered oh he'd gone through his legs even there we go pretty direct this time around there is CR7 and it moved uh, it's just a simple knock into his hands he knew what was coming all floated over the top big header from Ronaldinho Make sure it goes back to his man. Oh, and cheeky little dink over the top as well. Where does he go from here? Same again. This time, oh, he tries to put it early into the middle. Cruyff, though, it was behind the defender. Now Adoni breaking through. But that back four and one CDM all still in position, making it so difficult here, even on a break for Adoni to have any kind of chance to push onwards. Yeah, and Joxan still mercilessly attacking, launching one through the middle. Ronaldinho has won it back, looking for the cutback, looking for options on the edge of the box. Tries to square it, has to lay it back, and he's going to go out for a throw as well, which will also go Joxan's way. As he continues, just 15 minutes to go in this game, and three goals to the good so far for Joxan. Tries to roll that one through in time, finish it, but he was never going to get it past that many defenders. Joe, I think looking at this tournament so far, you know, we've we got a couple of takeaways from it, right? Uh, a, can you find a tactic to counter 4 2 3 1? Because that really is the meta right now. Um, B, I feel if you don't 
make use of those time finishes you're not going to get very far in fifa 19 right now yep. and c you really need to learn to make use of that goalkeeper and shuffle him at the right time that has become a very much needed skill uh, in fifa 19 which a lot of people are gonna have to learn yeah absolutely that is going to be a key thing and now, not just learning how to uh, how to use it, it was also oh. incredibly difficult because you have to have the right positioning. You have to guess right. Here's Eusebio oh, knocked off the ball. Uh, I mean, there was nothing left in it, nothing left no, in, the, in, the, uh, in the motor there, yeah. I'm afraid. But uh, it's all out of juice. It is a, uh, a telling sign of FIFA 19. Very hard to break away as cleanly uh, the, with the pace, etc. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a, a penalty. penalty. That's a penalty. We're in the 85th minute. It's going to be yellow for Walker. A penalty. There is still a three-goal cushion. Too little, too late. R9 sending it to the left, sort of begging him to shoot to the right. Trying to do him mentally, but not falling for it. Goes for the empty space. So, 4-2 the scoreline. Joxan needs to win the ball back and have another attempt here as quick as possible. But it's Joxan on the attack as he just thinks, time to slow it down. But there's that a mental change that he might well regret because Andoni's won it back quickly here. He needs to get the ball back on the attack and he's looking onto the wing. No, he goes for the central option instead, pulls it back and time is against him. He can't afford this slow style of build-up. He needs goals. He needs two more, Joe. He needs two more and he's not going to find them, at least for now. Jocks has the urgency to clear. I mean... The urgency when you've got no options is, is a difficult thing to find, right? And Troxan here is just going to waste till his last 20 seconds in game. No doubt have another shot. No even going to need to. There is a full-time.